Okay, so I'm going to tape this drywall ceiling and I'm going to use the super taper. So there's not a lot of content out there about the super taper, but I just want to show just how quick and easy it can be to string out all the tapes on a ceiling. And you're probably wondering, maybe wondering, that's why I'm not using the automatic taper or the bazooka. And well, for one reason, it's broken right now. And the other reason is that the bazooka can be a lot of work. Uh, it's a heavy tool. It can wear a person out by the end of the day. And in a house, in like these modern houses, there's not a lot of like wide open space. The ceiling here is probably the most wide open space there is. The rest of the house is all staircases, tight hallways, closets, little rooms. A lot of these houses, they got scaffold work. And the bazooka is a, you know, it's a big tool. And it can be a little bit difficult to reach into all those tight spots. And then it has to be cleaned out after too, so that takes time. And like I said, it's a, it's a heavy machine. So, well, it's not heavy at first, but after eight hours of running it, it does get heavy. And there's no shame in saying that, that, uh, you know, it, it can wear a person out. It wears me out sometimes. So I just do it this way most of the time because it's just quick and easy and I'm not working hard. It's not hurting my body at all. I'm just going through the motions. So. I mean, the ceiling's taped. Now I'm just going to wipe it. <coughs> and, uh, yeah, it's, super taper is a very simple, simple way of doing things. And it works really well. Some people have, some people who don't understand the tool have raised concerns like, do you get, uh, blisters under the tape. Never. I've never got a blister under the tape. And I've been using this tool 12 years now. So I thought, well, that depends if you don't put enough mud behind the tape with the way the tool is set up. Yeah, sure. Uh, it could be possible to get a blister, but you can see that when I'm wiping this tape, mud is spreading out on both sides and that just means there's plenty of mud behind these tapes. So yeah, that's about it. Just a quick little demonstration of this tool. Okay. Thanks for watching.